Hello guys, welcome to the stream. So yeah, it's been a it's been a small while, you know, since the last one of these. And we're gonna be doing tonight some PTR keys. Uh, I think this is uh I'm not sure what I got into. It's a Halls of Infusion. Halls of Infusion 12. So that should be around a 22-ish in the live servers or something like that in terms of the the scaling. So let's go let's go there now. Yeah, oh, there's been a lot of news of WoW of lately, you know, with the Pandaria PTR as well. I, I wanted to stream that, but I also don't want to spoil it for me. Pandaria is one of the expansions that I didn't really play. So uh, when I play it, when it goes live, you know, it's going to be new for me. So if I do it now in the PTR, I might spoil it. But yeah, I want to save that for when it gets live. Anyways, this is the build. Just uh, regular Paladin stuff, you know. There's not much to say here. All the stats are scaled anyways. So we're scaled up to a 489 item level like everyone in the PTR. So everyone's in the pretty pretty much the, the same um, eye, eye level, you know. Okay, for trinkets we're using Call to Chaos and we're using uh, Incarnate Icon. They did nerf some of these things, you know. I did a video talking about trinkets and how powerful they are going to be and trying to rate them. And they did some changes. Uh, for example, they did nerf Call to Chaos, I think, uh, the strength proc by a small amount. And they hugely nerfed Incarnate Icon, you know. It, it used to give like double the secondary stat. It was just the best trinket that you could get as a stat stick. Now, it's, it's still the best, I think. But it's not like super up there, you know. It's not like twice as better than, for example, a Chromatic Essence or something like that. It's now on the line, on the same line, you know. It's probably a bit better, like 1% better than Pips or Chromatic Essence in that way. But it does have the... the the problem that it's a very rare trinket so sometimes you won't be able to get it now what's this guy doing he's just killing the mobs <laughs> he has to get out of combat so we can so he has to get out of combat so we actually start the key so let's let's go help the guy <laughs> Uh, he, I think it thought like these guys were gonna be like super easy, but not anymore. Mythic Zero is basically like doing a uh, Mythic, Mythic Plus 10. I don't wanna pop any cooldowns on these things. There goes my proc. Call to chaos proc. Oh, this guy's RP walking or something. It's so weird. <laughs> okay, I think I have all my consumables. Uh, what am I missing? I'm missing food. And the prune. Oh yeah, this is the build I'm gonna be using. It's pretty standard. I like to use uh, Divine Purpose instead of Benji for Rat, so... I just do that. Do I need my cleanse? Oh yeah, I need my cleanse in this place for the frogs. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, pretty simple build. Okay, let's go. Let's go do some key. Twelve halls of infusion. I don't know what he's gonna pull, man. So, let's do that. The only thing we have to watch is the ball. Uh, that thing. The demo shout is annoying. Balls are better than annoying mobs. Well, they, they got heavily nerfed with the changes that Blizzard did for next season. So that beam uh, does less damage. Like, I think it's like a 25% nerf they did on the balls. Power. Yeah, 40 power. 
Like the demo. Demo shot is pretty annoying. It's uh, I think it's 25% less damage that we can do to get the demo let the demo shot go. Uh, stun it. Oh never mind, someone kicked it. Yeah, keys in the PTR feel pretty chill, I think. I like all the nerfs that Blizzard has done to this play these places because like Dragon Fight keys were fun. Problem is they were kinda overtuned. I'll find that. Oh never mind. Someone else had. What the Oh I didn't see the ball. <laughs> I think we could like uh freedom the um, laser beam I'm not I'm not sure though I remember freedom in the, the laser beam on live servers oh, that guy's still alive ah let's get there before the, the thing explodes now yeah, I'm popping cooldowns for this yeah, I'll freedom myself here Yeah, I think like freedom prevents the balls from lasering you. I'll be there in a second. I'm so slow. <laughs> I got the mush out. I'll pop it so I don't get the debuff. You can remove that demo out, but pop by the way. The physical damage debuff. Stun that guy. I got cooldowns, but I'm not gonna use it on these guys that are already dead. Oh, he got stomped. Rip. <laughs> okay, we got cooldowns for next pack now. I'll focus down one of the apparatus thingies. Hopefully, someone gets the other one. dead dead as well I'll blind here so it doesn't go off that explosion I have a kick Go off. Freedom myself. I'm waiting for an explosion to kick. Yeah, explosion. That's good. I just will use cooldowns here. out nice oh he's just going in I'm gonna wait a second <laughs> Oh, I forgot this boss is like it's in a perma low health. So Hammer of Rat is actually pretty good here. Oh, it's on me. It's not for far away. I just need it here.
They did nerf up all these balls, I think. They they made the um, the squirts. I mean the big zones like a lot smaller. You see those two zones there? They're so small compared to that, what they used to be. Uh, they're not getting healed here. <laughs> I better kill the balls now. Based. Oh yeah, I forgot I got the weapon. <laughs> Gotta use it sometime. I'll use it now. Use my shield so it explodes. God damn it. I think I'm gonna fun here. Like the, the the zones are not big enough to come so far away. I'll lay on hands, I guess. They're struggling. I'll get him up. And that boss is dead anyways. I should have just saved that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that guy just died from the dot after the boss died. So I like the nerfs they did on that boss. That's so annoying with the big zones, you know. Now it's they're pretty small. I think you can just leave them like not so far away. People are just going like to Narnia to leave them. I think it's no longer necessary. thing elemental cast that thing hurts a lot by the way not surprised if it was more like one shot someone here if it gets off like we are we already saw the explosion of the balls kill the whole group so I got five stack four stacks of the spell Stacks again, let's go myself. Those dazzles are not needed to be kicked, they're frontals. So they can be like dodge. I think we bugged. We we bugged the bugs. <laughs> we bugged the bugs. They're they're like evading now. Got my weapon. Ah, I want to use it, but everything's moving so much. Uh, I'll use it here.
I have no idea what's up with the hunter pets, man. Like, sometimes they're huge, they're doing massive damage. Others, they don't. <laughs> They're probably gonna do some nerfs on some of the classes that are doing a lot of damage. Probably Destro Locks. I don't know if Hunters are OP, but they do a lot of burst at the start. Red is always going to be pretty solid at the start. Also, we're starting with our correct tier set, you know? So the last tier set that we're using is the same tier set that we're going to be using. So that's gonna give us also some power. We're probably going to fall off in damage, like... Uh, after people start getting some gear, because that's what red normally does. We do not scale really well with stats. So what's going to keep us relevant is probably some extra buffs eventually on the as season goes on. Blizzard always is well, it's it's been doing that, you know. They have been doing that to retribution. And we gotta take care of the shock troopers here. Where's the healer? Did he get lost? No, oh, he's coming. It's just a long walk. Yeah, PTR, Luis, PTR. I would do live keys, but nah. I don't know, man. I'm not feeling like doing live stuff anymore because, well, the season's like so close to. to new season's so close. I saw, yeah, I, when I was testing before, I, I saw Dev doing like a ton of damage. What I've. Like, the classes that are doing a lot are like. Hunters are doing a ton of damage. Devs and Dev, Dev uh, Devastation Evoker and Destralox are like super strong as well. Red's just fine, you know. Demo is actually pumping, man. I, I would wait for the last tuning, An you know. Excellent. This is going to be doing like one last round of tuning and then after take the decision. Red's always a solid choice, you know. here when there's a bunch of those. Oh, I was gonna use it there. I almost killed myself. Back. I need a judgment though. You always want to start with a prop up your cheer set or you use your coolies. You move the thing. How is tank taking so much damage, man? We're we're kicking the the fire things, so he should be like chilling. He's not reflecting the things, right? Yeah, he's not. Uh, he's reflecting. He only reflected four. Mm. Oh, actually, he only reflected one thing. He only casted his spell effect once. Mm. That's probably why he's dying. Yeah, red always falls off, man. It's it's the the, the way our class is like balanced around versatility, and we don't get a lot of benefits from critical strike as well because of uh, like we have a lot of abilities that already give us a bunch of critical strike, like wings, hundred percent crit on vengeful rat. So we don't scale really well with stats, but Blizzard has been like buffing red whenever we fall behind, you know. So I'm pretty sure that's going to happen as well. We're still going to start strong, though. Red's always good, even without gear at the start. Then we take a dip in the middle, and then we get a small buff from Blizzard to just keep us up. 
It's so weird that Red works like this now because, like, uh, until like Shadowlands, Red worked in uh, it scaled really well with stats because the more mastery you got at the end, the more powerful Red was. Didn't get eaten. Tank didn't get eaten. The frog is angry. It's gonna hurt a bit. You can tell I've not been playing the game a lot. I'm forgetting to use this stupid weapon. The active. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, the frog is angry. It's 50% extra damage. There it is, he got eaten this this time. I think Hunter's dead. No, oh, he's alive. No, oh, healer's dead. Oh, you gotta kill the little frogs. Kill the froggies. Make him eat. Okay. Oh, he's mad. Yeah, the tank is not getting eaten. So he's getting the 50% damage buff. Yeah, I'll just tell him. Casters do scale better than other specs at the end, end game, you know? So yeah, we'll probably see a like, caster-dominated meta. Just because of scaling. But there's also the thing that these dungeons require a lot of kicks. Can someone res me? Someone res me, please. Yeah. Yeah, these places require a lot of kicks and stops, and like melee classes have the most of those. Oh, he's, he's already going in. Just wait for the healer to catch up, you know? Why are you moving the frog? Just let the frogs be like there where, where they spawn. Be there, and my dude, he has to eat the frogs. There's no reason to move the frog when he spawns the, uh, like the big frog when he spawns the little ones. Just let him, let him come here. You're gonna kite. If you move the boss, the, the frogs are gonna be left behind and they're not gonna get eaten. I'll use my weapon here.
Okay, nice. You got it. Okay, so this was the hardest part I remember back then because of big dragons and everything. But they did do a lot of nerfs to this to these mobs. Like some of these mobs all already like lost. I gotta oh whoa, that thing hurt us. Hurt so much. Rip tank. Yeah, that's for these. It's here. It's here. This is the new, the change, you know, the big rest point is here now. Tang has aggro. Oh, let, let's, let's, I think we should just leave it. Oh, uh, never mind. They're gonna keep going. Like, I had aggro randomly there. <laughs> Gotta freedom this. Heal that guy. This shouldn't be this hard, man. Uh, the healer is struggling a bit. Yeah, that, that's, thing, that's one thing I noticed. The healer is struggling a lot here. Like, uh, since the first boss. <laughs> I don't think it's tank's fault. We're missing a bit of healing. Freedom can't prevent the damage, but it removes the application of the debuff. That's pretty good. By the way, if you're seeing us dying here, we're also, like, you're not going to be at this item level in this place. Like, on a 12, you're probably going to be, like, 500 or 520 item level or something like that. Everyone here is, like, 489. I'll use my weapon, I guess. Kite the bolts. <laughs> it's too far away. Oh, this pack's gonna hurt. <laughs> if he was already struggling in the last pack, this one's gonna break him. <laughs> I think I have to like focus the, the ice color here. Yeah. I'll stun the ball. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
stretching tides. This is only uh, herbalism. Okay. I think that gives you speed or something. Who has aggro? Okay, he has aggro. Yeah, the tank is getting just destroyed because healer is kind of struggling. Yeah, he's a warrior tank. Like, that's the worst uh, tank you can have if the healer is struggling because they're reliant on external healing, you know? They don't have their own stuff. Like, any other tank makes keys easy, uh, like, so easy. Warrior just requires a good healer tank. A good healer tank combo and heals a bit a week. Now the there's a visual indicator now that the ice is cracked. Oh, that thing appeared like right behind me, <laughs> under me. Can you come safe here. My weapon here. Oh. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> you you want to try like to aim that thing to, not to a crystal like. In between the crystals, so you don't die. <laughs> uh, think I'm safe here. Oh. Guess I wasn't in LOS. I was in LOS though. Aim it to me, or yeah, towards me. Okay, I'm sure like LOS here, right? Yeah, I'm alive. It's nice that they put the, those circles under the other cracked crystals, so you know that they're actually cracked and they're gonna blow up. Where's the guys? Where 
There's the other guy. I think this healer is kind of new because he's like doing individual reses. <laughs> he's not doing mass reses. Ah, oh, this part should be fun. <laughs> this gauntlet, I remember, was pretty pretty bad in first season of uh, Dragonflight. That's the second season, I think. Anyways, this place was pretty bad. Not a good idea. <laughs> it's nice though that they put the, the graveyard like pretty close here. Like before you had to run from the start of the dungeon, which was pretty annoying. Uh, I can't get them because it's a gauntlet. <laughs> they have to run. I think the healer just gave up because he's just standing in the frog boss. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Like, I mean, I can try to get him, but I'll die in the process. It's like very far away. Okay, healer's coming. It's not a good idea to not finish up the little water thingies because they start doing a um, multiplication cast, you know? They divide and then there's more of them and you die. <laughs> oh, that's my old... Uh, that's where my consecration button is normally, but since we don't no longer use consecration, it's just the um, the icon for consecrated blade. If we ever go back to using consecration, that's where it is. He has to kind of take it slow here because Heal's not gonna gonna make it. He's already struggling a bit, so if he does like huge pulls like that, he won't survive it. Now you can probably take those three things, but Dragon and the uh, Ice Collar plus Earth Shaker. Healer's dead. Look. I'll sack you. Okay, he's sacked. The frontal is pointing to anywhere. <laughs> them myself I heal myself I guess 
Oh, I got hit by a rager. <laughs> now get running. They don't want to keep going. At, I understand. <laughs> I don't know what the hell killed the healer, though. He just died instantly at the start of the pool. He can't die. We have a warrior tag. They're not really... They can't sustain themselves. Although he did sustain himself for a while. Oh, I did sack him. That might have helped. Gonna go red instead of Le Le Locke and Destro. To be honest, I think you can probably go both this season. It's pretty short, and gear is going to be very accessible. Maybe you can like main both of both classes. I'm kind of biased because I'm always going to tell you red, <laughs> because that's the only thing I play and I like to play. But uh, Destro is in a very good spot in the PTR. But wait for the last tuning, I, I say. There's going to be one last tuning, and maybe they got Destro or something. You never know. Oh, that he's already in. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, he's fine. There's the breath. He's dead. Can we make it? guys in a bubble not a good bubble just a random water bubble we don't need to remove that thing okay we gotta wait for healer pick the title of the versions that's the split uh i i can resin uh, his body is like all over there. Maybe the healer can get him. Oh yeah, he's getting it. He's getting the other pally. Okay, he's gone. He's already in. I find this. Thanks, dude. Oh, that's not a good idea. Oh that these guys have to like that. I'll just die here. He can't like uh, he can't save the pool because it's a gauntlet. Okay, he left. GG's. I don't blame him. We're dying too much. Back to World Track. <laughs> Every single pull we lost the healer. I don't know what even killed him. I think it was the wave maybe. That's the only thing that can one shot you there. It even one shot me when I got hit. Now I like, have a ton of Owl in avoidance. Anyways, let's look for another one. Uh, let's do Algatar. Let's do Algatar. It's a fun key. I enjoy doing some Algatar. I'm a bit rusty, man. I haven't been playing the game in a while. I'm doing a lot of League, League of Legends. I have like three accounts and I, I made it to plat one on three accounts. Like the one in NA, the one in LAN, and the one in LAS. 
I have to play in the... I, it, it was really hard to do it on the NA one. Because uh, the ping. The ping is like super high in NA. The other ones was pretty chill. Mostly because I played things like Swain. And Swain, Sion, those things. But I do it as a support. So yeah. <laughs> Come on, get me into that the Algatar, man. It's just a 10. We can do it. 10 is the equivalent of a 20 in life. Obviously without any affixes, except I guess Fort. Because people like to play with Fort. Mobs actually live. Yeah, my damage was probably crap on that key. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's, pr it's re pretty bad. <laughs> I forgot to use my Fairlot a lot. Like, I probably lost like two or three uses of this thing. Also, hunters are pumping. That's pretty good. Hunters always do well. That their only like limitation is the capacity to survive. <laughs> and they're probably going to do some changes because I think twenty was uh, twenty was the portals and the achievement, you know. So maybe that's now going to be ten because of the changes of all the keystone systems. I already have them, so I can't really test for that. I'm pretty sure they're gonna do it though. It's the most logical thing to do. Because a 20 with the new system would be the equivalent of doing a 30 <laughs> in the old one. So no way that's that's going to be needed to get the, the portal. Tens are pretty chill, by the way. Like we're doing it in the PTR with 489 item level, which is a lot lower uh, of item level uh, that normal people are going to be doing it. You're going to be going into a 10 with like 515, 510 item level, probably. Nah, everything's full. Okay, that's a Hall's 12. Do we? It's, this, it's the same guy. <laughs> I don't want to do the same key with the same guy. <laughs> that was so, so, so tragic. What, what do I have? I, I can make a keystone, right? Ah, uh, what do I want to make? Ah, uh, what's a fun place to do? Let's do an 11. Let's put fort. Where's fort? Fort. Uh, what am I missing? Keystone container, okay. Oh, Azure Bolts is fun. Or an Algatar. Algatar is also fun. Because of the big AoE before the tree boss. Oh, knock it. Let's do a knock it. I haven't done one in a real long, long time. Let's put knock it here. What else? Uh, 11. Fortified. And that is, that's it, yeah. Let's, let's throw it in there. Oh, there's keys there. Actually, let's 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 just join one. Let's join this knock it. It's already there. Or this Alga there. Both are fine. If we don't get in in a short time, I'll just use this knock it I made. <laughs> mm, 
Not good. They did a huge amount of changes, especially to the, the electric part. You know, before the big storm boss, those uh, centaur dudes no longer do like certain casts. You don't need to kick them. They just remove them flat out. They did buff the ghost part because uh, now you can't like mass CC the birds because they don't like time their abilities at the same time. So it's very weird. They did some buffs and nerfs to knock it. The nerfs are a lot heavier than the whatever buffs they have, though. Come on, get me in, man. I'll do the damage. I'll do the damage. <laughs> I'm thinking it's gonna be a fun season, though. With all the nerfs, having all the items that you can buy from the vendors. That's the most important thing, you know? We still don't know how many of these things we're going to be able to buy, you know, the the bullions, the bronze bullions, how many we'll be able to get. My guess is like the 12, so it has a max cap of 12 that you can get of these bullions. So if you can get 12, that means you can get 6 items from these vendors. For us, it's going to be Scale of Awakening, that's going to be your first buy, because if that's your weapon, that's the biggest upgrade you can get. Second buy, I think it's going to be the ring. Where's Diurna? It's the, the little wolf. Yeah, second buy is for sure Diurna. If you don't get it dr to drop, just buy Diurna's ring. It's just incredible. It's just a cantrip without any downside because it doesn't take away from stats on the ring. After that, yeah, after that is mostly optional stuff, you know. Probably I'm going to go for Call to Chaos. Where is the thing? this call to chaos or you can also go for the uh, augury both are pretty similar in value where's augury oh it's the other one yeah there's augury so yeah augury or call to chaos are fine augury works a bit better for single target call to chaos works a bit better for aoe because it's more than five targets strength is always going to give you value yeah, after those, you know, you want to get a stat always, stick, probably. So if you don't get, like, a Chromatic Essence or a Whispering Icon, like this thing, you can buy it from this. Those are, like, tertiary buys, though. There's many options there. Then you can get, like, the luxury items, you know. Things that don't increase your DPS, but yeah, maybe increase your survivability. Time. Like the Ring of Filial Duty. This one, where is it? This thing. That's pretty good, you know. It just gives you a shield every for on a pretty high proc rate. This helps you survive a bit more. Other luxury item would be the cape. Where's the cape? Yeah, the cape. This one is pretty sketchy to use because you lose a lot of stamina to get this cape. And I remember it didn't proc pretty often in keys. It had like a really, really low uptime. So maybe it's not worth it. But yeah, after that, you want to get uh, any other trinket that you might want. You know, maybe a beacon from the beyond, something specifically to kill one target. You know, you can go for beacon, grief torch. Uh, what else is the thing that does a ton of damage to one target specifically? Until next time. Yeah, I think those are two. You know, beacon, grief torch. Maybe if you want that some extra like single target, you go for anvil. Or if you don't want to manage the anvil, you can go Three for the other option. Time, that's the where is it? The brand as well. You have a bright but those are like last options, you know, like luxury items. I'm guessing you can pick six of them. 12 bullion max cap or something like that. There's a Bracken Hide 11, let's go there. Oh yeah, nice, let's go there. Got an invite. So I did Bracken Hide already in the PTR, and but we went left side, so that was weird. We we did time it, but it was like the Knoll side, and I don't know what the hell the Knolls do. <laughs> yeah, okay. Get consumables, food. Do I need my Hammer of Wrath for this place? I don't think so. This place is so heavy AOE. I think this build is fine. Okay, I wonder what side we're going to go. The rot side or the null side? 
And what's the tank? Okay, Demon Hunt, Demon Hunter. Yeah, he's gonna do the regular big pull. Oh, he's gonna do the big big pull. in overall. I'll swap it in a second. The lesser lock must be like the strong damage though. I just feel it, you know. Oh yeah, how's that? Oh actually I won. <laughs> Never mind. Red busted confirmed. <laughs> I forgot to use my weapon. God damn it. I'll use it here. Someone kick that, please. Someone kill someone. I'll take the next big cast. Oh, never mind. Uh, there's a trap there. I'll take that now. No more fear. <laughs> Okay, we gotta open the cages. I remember that. Seek? Who's stealing our meat? Uh, he's gonna do the big, big pull, I think. Also, I have my weapon ready. I have to use it. I remembered. <laughs> Everything's together. I almost jumped into a trap. Oh, we gotta do the, the cage. Our paths? Meat thieves! Kill them, ruin them, destroy them! I think he's gonna do a double again here. Yeah, he's gonna do double. So we're gonna wait a bit. So he gets aggro and everything's together. I need home some heavy power. Take the gear. I'll climb here. So I don't 
get like smashed to the ground, punched. <laughs> Nice. Gotta open the cage. We need one more cage, I remember that. Keep the balance preserved. We all uh, groups always pull the path here. Are we gonna try to avoid it? Maybe we don't pull it? <laughs> I'm just gonna use my cooldowns. Well. We didn't pull it. Nice. Yeah, groups always try to not pull that thing, and then it always gets pulled. But we actually succeeded. That's pretty good. <laughs> I got no cooldowns for this. I'm gonna focus Trick Totem. Or Nash Dude, maybe. Mm. Like, the problem is that guy jumps around too much. It's very annoying. But yeah, I'll, I'll focus down Trick Totem. Put a shield here. Oh, that guy just died. My cooldowns back. Pick the healing waters. He's dead. Ooh. Oh, we don't, we don't have any places. Oh, we die, we die, we die. Where's the damage to the totem, man? No one's doing damage to the totem. <laughs> now we can do this. Even if it, with that, without without wipe, you know. With the wipe. Should be fine. Damage was pretty pretty low there, man. What happened? Oh, the lock died at the start. But I think he still had cooldowns. Or maybe he popped them and then he died. Yeah, I guess that's what happened. Okay, let's go again. I take stolen meat from your I use my weapon here while I can. They're all together. Those frontals. No, the totem. Get him up. 
Give me a shield. Did the mage DC or something? He did like a single point of damage. Oh, everyone left. Rip. Nah, man, what's wrong with PTR keys tonight? Like, I'm used to just plowing through them. <laughs> it's an 11. It should be pretty simple. And people randomly dying. My Hearthstone is not even up. Uh, I guess I'll go to Dalaran. <laughs> Dalaran Hearthstone. I think we started that fight without the mage inside the area or something. I don't think it gets locked though. Yeah, he just probably like randomly Hearthstone away. Ah, let's look for another one. It's not a good night for keys, it seems. Maybe we do go to retail. Yeah, it's not looking like a, ha a really good PTR key night, so I think we just go to retail for a while. Let's swap. Okay, let's do some retail keys. What do I have? Uh, 25 Darher ticket. Uh, I could... Yeah, we could do that. It's pretty chill key. I don't need a 25, but... Uh, let's see what's in the group finder. Maybe we can actually get some score. I need 26s, Everbloom, uh, Morrison's Rise. Let's put 26 and see what happens. There's not a single Everbloom 26, sadly. Turn to the tides. 27, do we need that? Uh, actually, we do. Maybe we get in. It's a Gaokorn 27. That's actually pretty good as well. If we get in, that's the thing. What's the affixes this week? I haven't done a single key this week. Like, literally a single mythic plus key. It's the affixes are entangling, bursting. Okay, so it's pretty decently good. Tyrannical is annoying, but should be fine. Okay, let's do my key. I'll do my 20, 25 dark heart ticket. Let's see what we get. I have to swap some talents though. Uh, for this, I want. I do want this. 
instead of Searing Light. Searing Light is good for fort. But Tyrannical is just bad. We gotta kill bosses. Okay, who do we take? Uh, these are Paladin and Demon Hunter tank. Demon Hunter tank alone. I would take another red, but this guy's from Ocean. Yeah, it's... Uh, they lag a bit. I don't know why. I'll take this Demon Hunter. And now I need 2 DPS and a healer. Uh, there's a mage. He's done, he's done a 23. Do we trust the mage with a 23? I, I really don't don't care much, you know, about my key. I just want to do and play the game, you know? And we could we could give this mage a try. Okay, let's give the mage a try. Also, he has lust, so that's pretty good. Now, do we take another demon hunter? It's actually pretty good. They have a lot of stops and stuff. Like demon hunters. Also, he's the highest here. Yeah, let's take him. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? We need a healer. Oh, what I was what, what trying what what I wanted to do was like um, a, a series where I play the game without any any add-ons. Probably, maybe I keep details, but any other add-ons, you know, I deactivate everything and see if I can get to 3K IO with a fresh character or something like that. Like all my weak auras, everything is gone. The only thing I have is details. <laughs> I used to play like that, by the way. I didn't use uh, weak auras or anything like that until, like, end of BFA or something like that. Before that, uh, I didn't use anything. Uh, the only thing I had in the game was uh, simulation craft and details. I even used Skara instead of details back then. I was, like, very anti addons But... Eventually, some of my friends recommended me to use Vicaras, and I kind of like them, you know. They're pretty nice, shiny stuff on your screen that reminds you to do stuff. I still don't use boss mods, though. Like, uh, it's a channel gag that my my boss mods is like 11 versions uh, not updated. <laughs> uh, I'll take this guy. He's not a 24. Should be fine. Let's go. Where is it? Legion, the Hardicate. So yeah, I was very anti addons in, in the past. Now I use some of them, not all of the addons, you know. I don't use, like I said, boss mods. My boss mod is 11 versions. I think 12. 12 at this point? Let's see. It's gonna appear some, sometime here. Like 12 versions <laughs> behind the, the, the normal ones. Now let's check. It should appear here. No, I didn't. Okay, it's gonna appear sometime. Boss mod. I don't know. I know a lot of people that can't really play the game without add-ons. I'm sure I got pretty used to them though. But I, I'm, I'm, I can't. I'm, I think I can play without them. It's, a bit, it's been a big topic, you know, in the PvP world. Like, if they should just flat out remove them. But it's really hard. Especially because some add-ons are useful for people that really need them, you know. With disabilities and all those things. So, how do you manage to balance that? And remove add-ons? I don't know. Maybe they can bake them into the game. I think they should bake weak auras into the game. But... The functionality of showing you things on the screen, not the the, the the super advanced one, you know, that just tells you what to do outright. It's a very complicated topic. Okay, everyone's here. One, two, three, four. There's only four people here. Where's the other dude? Ah, uh, it's in the time waste. Okay, we wait. He could have summoned the guy, though. <laughs> yeah, we should have summoned the guy.
I'm also working on a new stream schedule. I, I'm, I want to stream like four or five days a week, like at 4 p.m. I don't know if that's a good time though. Like metrics say it's pretty good, good time. So I'm gonna try to do it like that. It's probably gonna be a community post that's gonna say when my streams are gonna start. I wanna be a bit more consistent with those. Now I have a, a bit more time in the afternoon, so yeah, I think 4 p.m. would be a nice time to start streams. Because normally I do them like very late, like I start like 11 Eastern <laughs> or something like that. And they're like very random. Sometimes I do stream, sometimes I don't. Where's the last guy? Still in the... he's still coming. Okay, he's flying. Any talents I need? Uh, I could use Unbound Freedom. But I would lose my stun cooldown reduction. I don't want to do that. So let's be a bit selfish. Oh, actually, yeah. Let's remove turn evil. And put this here. Mm. Actually, I'm, I'm not just going to use this for healing. <laughs> this, this here. Okay, let's do a ready check. Everything seems okay. Do I need avoidance in this place? I don't think I need it. Okay, let's go. 25 Dark Heart. Uh, do I use potions or do I just don't? Uh, I'll use it. What the hell? <laughs> I'll use bots. I was not gonna use it because maybe we, we get to the bears and it's not off cooldown. I'll just spend myself, use cooldowns here, just to finish up this pack. Kind of a waste though. You might be asking, why don't you freedom yourself, right? And that's because it's a global rust. <laughs> if I can move away from the mobs and just keep doing damage. Got my weapon in 24 seconds. I'll stun this guy. Okay, now I'll freedom. I don't want to move too much here. Where's the charge going? I don't want to use it on two birds that are almost dead. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is strange. Normally, like, a lot of tanks do the other route, you know? Pull. Oh, yeah, he's gonna pull it anyways. <laughs>
on my weapon here. Use it now. It's by myself. can only do one dispel, my friend. Now I don't know if the healer has his. Ah, I like the, the sun one, you know? Ah, I don't have a... Ah, my pot's on CD. Rip, I have to die. I can smell the nightmare in your blood. Now, we weren't too fast here. Still one minute on it. Uh, I think they're safe. I'll die myself here. Okay, res me. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to the sun talents, man. Those look really good. The sun spots and juggling all those things seem to be fun. The, the other ones are good, you know, the hammer ones. But... The other ones look a lot more fun. I have the bleed on me? What the hell? Mage playing like in, in melee? What the hell? My dude, you have to take the range hit. I will bleed the nightmare from you. Yeah, that mage was playing in melee, man. These little guys, they won't win so much. Oh, move them a lot. Rip. By tooth and claw, be purged. Uh, I'll res you, I guess. Oh, they're gonna ask that guy. I have my weapon, but it's very risky to use it here. I'll use it after next bear form. So I don't get an instant dead instant get by that. Alright. Okay, at least it hit something. I have to bubble myself here. Not much room. Mm, this is pretty rough. <laughs> I'm stuck. Where the hell's the boss? Yeah, we can't just kite these little beings. They're gonna leave us without any room. It's 
kind of too late to kill him though. Where do I stand now? Uh, I can hit them from here. Ah, we're dead. Rip. I, I don't have anywhere to go. Actually, I could. Yeah, it's, I think we die. <laughs> I die, I die. <laughs> yeah, man, both talents look really good. I like them both, but I just like the sun, the sun, the sun talents a bit more because they look a little more interesting, you know. Let's let's see, rip, <laughs> rip, good try. <laughs> okay, that was rough, man. I, I don't know why at the start the mage was playing in melee, because he's supposed to take the, the hits of the cat. I almost died because of that, but we were fine. But then he started kiting the boss away from the little ads. I don't know if something changed in the time I wasn't playing, but you, you normally just let the ads come to the boss and we cleave them down. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Ah, let's try again. 24. Hola, Manuel. Gracias por ver el stream. <laughs> okay, let's do the 24. Probably there's not gonna be a lot of people looking for a 24. But uh, let's try it, you know. We can always look for a 24 as well. Actually, let's look for a key. Let's look for a 25 ish. 25 ish. What's good? The Revenge of the Darhar Ticket. Okay, let's try it. 25. Never Bloom 25. It's a funky. Murison's Rise 25? I, I don't like that place. <laughs> Throne 26? Although, no, Thrall is, Thrall is US. Yeah, it's not those. Yeah. Nice, Never Bloom. Let's go. Uh, that's Warders of Draenor. Oh, it's eight hours. I gotta take the long way. Been a rough night for keys, man. Couldn't time a single one in the PTR. We can't time one key in the in retail. <laughs> rough night. There's always times like that. Just gotta keep going, you know, brush it off. What can you do? It's the end of the season, you know. I wanted to go for title, but it's such a grind that it's... It's such a grind if you don't have a group to play with, and I couldn't find one. I did try, though. I did try. Uh, he's trying to find Lust for this group. So what do we have here? So he's a Druid, got a Priest, and we got a Demon Hunter tank. Nice. Hey, Rashid, what's up, man? Just doing some keys, you know. Playing the game. Uh, I was doing some PTR earlier, but now I'm doing some retail stuff. I might get some keys done, you know, to get my vault and all those things. PTR keys were pretty pretty bad. <laughs> Not gonna lie, they were they didn't they didn't go well. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, we got lost. I think everyone's here. I repair because I died a lot. Uh, actually, I didn't die a lot. I only died once. So stat-wise, I think, yeah, we're going to go heavy burst because we like that stat. Then you're going to get some crit and probably mastery is going to be up there as well. Just because we already have so much of every stat, you know, that mastery is going to get a, a lot of values. A lot of, a lot of, it's going to get a lot of value. The problem with red is we don't scale really well with stats. That's That's been our main problem the whole season. So what I'm I'm thinking that's going to happen is we're going to start strong because red's always good at the start without much gear. Then we're going to take a dip. Like, we're going to uh, stop scaling a bit when everyone starts getting more gear in. And at the end, Blizzard's going to see that we're kind of struggling a bit and they're going to buff us just to keep the same pace as others. They do that with monks normally because they are also a class that doesn't scale well with stats. So I'm thinking they're going to do the same for us. As for stats, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to pan out. But like I said, burst, crit, mastery. You, I, I don't think you can go wrong with stats on red pallies. <laughs> Especially because there's so many extra damage sources that you're going to be having next next patch. If you go for augury and uh, everyone's going to go for Durna, that's also increased by versatility. If you maybe go like... For example, I'm going to go with Call to Chaos instead of Augury, and maybe Augury for certain tyrannical keys. Augury likes mastery because uh, strength amplifies and multiplies, uh, multipliers, like mastery and all those things. But I think it's better to sim yourself when you get the gear. I think that's going to be the best bet. Yeah, it's also going to depend on the trinkets that you, you use. Like I said, if you're using Augury, probably Burst, Crit's going to be incredible. Using Call to Chaos, maybe it's going to nudge you a bit more into Mastery. Okay, I have all buffs, I think. Uh, I'm missing something. No, I'm fine. I have everything. Okay, let's use good pots for this. Do I need something special for this place? I have my Dispel. I think we're fine. It's gonna be a fun season. I just wanted to start, man. Retail is kinda dead. You know, a lot of people doing keys, but... Season kinda ended for me. <laughs> Who's key? Who's key? It's not my key. <laughs> Augury is still pretty good. Pretty good. It's on par with Call to Chaos. It's also going to be the fight dependent because we have like just do damage trinkets that are really good. You know, the one from Sarkareth and the one the the Grief Torch as well. So there's going to be fights that are short. Maybe you want to use those because they are like super upfront burst and if the boss dies fast enough it's gonna make you parse you know in mythic plus i don't see those trinkets being so good maybe in places where you need to kill one specific thing like uh what's it called the null place with the the poison bracken hide oh he's just gonna pull it okay Who do I watch here? Oh, he's gonna do everything? We're gonna explode. Oh, we have priest. Never mind. I should freedom hit the guy.
forgot to use the stupid weapon. I always forget to use my free a lot. Yeah, a lot of the gear comes from raids, but we have the, the new dinar currency, you know? Need one more holy bar. We don't know how many of those dinar currencies we're going to be able to get. And I'm thinking Blizzard is going to be pretty generous with them. Because you can even buy like transmog with those. That's 12 stacks. We're dead. It's 13 stacks. We're mega dead. <laughs> it's too many dots. <laughs> uh, I can't get past this guy. Do I just... I just drag it, I guess. Ah, I gotta run. I gotta get bolted to death. Ah. I have to die. Yeah, I don't have pot. I don't have anything. They have to res me, I guess. Yeah, this mob, I can't pass it. I think they're coming back. Yeah, he's coming back. Nice. Why why would you even leave this thing alive here? Why why is it still here? We killed everything here and leave one dude up. I don't know why. Such a random mob to just leave there. Okay, we should be fine. It's the bosses that matter this week. Like, where are these plants coming from? I got cooldowns in two seconds. Freedom. the vines. I don't think we have massive spells so we might die here. Ah, he can heal five sacks. Nice. 
He left one dude alive there. <laughs> That's so weird. This group's like leaving one guy alive all the time. <laughs> I don't want to play the Pandaria event because I didn't play Pandaria when it was like current content. So if I play in the PTR, I'm going to spoil I'm going to spoil it for me. So I'm, I'm saving that for when it goes to to live. I did, I did go into the PTR though to just take a peek, you know, on how the event is going to be. It, it seems like a lot of fun. Gathering transmog. It's just a pure collection fest, you know. And those are always fun. Oh yeah, I have my weapon. I guess I'll use it here when more plants appear. Nah, I just send send the weapon probably gonna use it again <laughs> Pick up myself. that hurt got cooldowns back let's use them I do like to collect stuff. Actually, for me, it's kind of new content. So I, I, I guess if you already did it, it is boring for you. <laughs> for me, it's kind of new because I never did Pandaria. Like, I, I never actually leveled in Pandaria. I always leveled in other places. To line with his damage phase. Should be coming soon. It's almost gone. Ten, seven energy, five. Okay, we pump now. Oh yeah, if you have all the mounts, you can get like new stuff, like free colors and stuff. So it's not old, old content. There's also some stuff that's kind of fun and new. They said, but that's not only that's going to come, you know. There's more things that I have prepared for PvE players. Blizzard's been like too, very secretive about what they're trying to do with the game. <laughs> they no longer tell you, you know. I'll just send my cooldowns here, no matter if he's on the damage phase or not. get buffs but I don't think at the start we're gonna get them once people start getting gear so I'm thinking like maybe two three weeks in the patch red's gonna get some buffs because of the you know scale well with stats so we're gonna drop off a bit maybe a three percent buff they're gonna do like three percent three percent like they always do you know they they buff by three percent every time when some class is falling behind They've been consistently doing it, this expansion, so I'm 
pretty certain they're gonna do it. The red are above, yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot it. Why is it why is it off? It's always on. I'm, are we gonna leave that guy alive now this time as well? Oh no, no never mind. They're gonna kill it. Why is my red aura off? Thanks for reminding me, though. <laughs> Last on this. Never mind. Thank you. Last on it, anyways. For moral support, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's not 5%. It's maybe between. Between 3 and what? That's five percent. Not not five percent. It's like the half of that. Two point two point five percent, I think. Because it's not always up. <laughs> People have to start dying for it to to be up. Actually, this run you're kind of right because it's bursting. <laughs> People are already dying all the time. Are we gonna do the little jump thingy? I hate this jump thingy. Oh, I made it! I don't suck. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, I'll watch the, I guess, the earth one. It's a bit close, but uh, we're fine. I'll get that. Yeah, I'll go a bit farther this time. So. Finish up this guy. Go away. To be honest, I don't know what do we want to kill now. I guess the the caster. <laughs> Back in a few seconds. Get some holy power ready for that. We have it now. It's bump. Uh, actually, after this. I have so many procs. I want to use my. If I go, I gotta use the procs first. Focusing there. Look. <laughs> to be honest, I think the Shadow Priest is just killing both of them. I'll use my weapon here just to put it on cooldown. Did 
That almost killed, that almost killed me. I was using my weapon and the dude just starts spinning on me. Yeah, that almost nuked me down. <laughs> so funny that it just jumped to me, you know. Specifically the guy that's channeling the boss. <laughs> He's gonna do everything? I'll watch the Pyromancer. He's gonna do it? Nope. for the next pack. <laughs> uh, Actually, no. They, these guys are not fortified. Tyrannical, tyrannical trash would be fine. Okay. I'll look at the ice color, I guess. Yeah, I'll look at the ice color. Hopefully someone looks at the pyromancer for me so I don't die. I'll have it. Pull that back. He's gonna reset it? I think he is. Surely the cold will make them wither. Yeah, that was weird. Why did we pull it so fast? No, they take you too. I think he's still dead. I oh, know he we left combat. Nice. To be honest, we should have just kept going. We had we had enough space to do it. Like we could have done it near that little house that's with the purple stuff there. Punishment talent. Yeah, I, I did try it. I think th there's more value instead of punishment. Try to use with uh, recompense. I, I I used it once and it gave me like 1.1% extra damage, but it also almost killed me. So it's pretty risky. <laughs> I don't know how to calculate damage of punishment. You know, extra kicks and all that, all the things because you have to do successful kicks, and a lot of people just use like stops and 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 stuns and all those things so sometimes you miss the the extra kick there but the punishment is going to give you damage but it's kind of risky you know i mean the the recompense <laughs> okay let's go if we're gonna pull it now why didn't we pull it back then you know this it's basically the same thing <laughs>
I gotta remember that little totem thing is on my left. I can't see the fire because of the black in the ground. <laughs> okay, there it is. I have my weapon, so I might as well use it here. Don't kill me, please. Okay, we're fine. Ooh. <laughs> that guy's dead. I'll res him. Got cooldowns back in three seconds. The guy's dead again. Everyone's dead. Do I rest the, the healer, I guess, so he can keep doing it? <laughs> I think they gave up. <laughs> I'll keep going if they do. I don't mind. Just want to get a key done, you know, for the week. <laughs> mm, they got a... Yeah, that thing. Mine, mine suits. I think we're still gonna pull. Oh, nice. Made it again. I used to struggle with that jump so much. <laughs> so we're not gonna time this by any mean. So... Might as well clear those mobs on the right, probably. So we have a, li a, bit, a bit more space. Okay, we're fine. Everyone's alive. Next one is the dangerous one. The, the pull. Ah, oh, there's a lot of space here. We're chilling. And my weapon. Oh, I'll use it here. Hopefully I don't die, I don't die. Uh. <laughs> that was almost a death. Defenses here. Also the pull. Yeah, that pull. Take 
Ah, Sammy. the hell is Kill it, kill it, kill it. There's my weapon here. Finish it off. Four minutes. That last boss is, I think it's probably like more, right? Like, probably like five to six minutes, I think. There might be a chance, though. Yeah, there might be a chance to do this on time. Four minutes. It's a very big maybe, but the there is. Than some four seconds. Ah, oh, I should have waited for that. I'm dumb. <laughs> Lasher. Stun it. Got my weapon. Might as well use it here. There's the ad. Oh, we have coolness for that. Nice. One under under the boss, I think there was. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> got my weapon in fifty seconds. I have cooldowns for this ad, but. It's gonna be a bit late, maybe. I have my weapon in sec six seconds, six seconds. I gotta use it on this ad.
Why is there always like one Nasher that survives? Three seconds. Oh, we don't. Not gonna make it. Damn it. I have nothing for this. 20 seconds. I have my bubble. So I'll sack with healer and bubble myself. They enhance that guy. Okay, we got a weekly done. <laughs> weekly key. It was close. It was pretty close. To be honest, I think we, we had it. We didn't, like... We wasted a lot of time on trash. At the start, for example, I got, like, uh, stuck at the, the beginning because we left one dude. I could have, like, killed a lot of... A lot, like trash a lot faster if I was there. Nah, yeah, that much was pretty good. Actually, I don't know. If there's an evoker, <laughs> you never know. I did miss like a huge ton of a part of the trash after I got stuck at the start of the dungeon. <laughs> so yeah, I should have been doing like 520 something ish DPS that that place. Oh well, let's do one more key. I want to do my 24, but I don't think there's many people trying to do a 24, so it's kind of hard to fill. I think I'm better off just looking for a key. <laughs> like 24s is, are so hard to fill at this time at night and like at the end of the season. No one needs a 24 dollar heart. So yeah, I'm just gonna look for a key. Yeah, last week's I've been only doing like one key a week. Not really trying to do much on retail. I did play more PTR, I think, than retail last week. It's mostly because the season is ending, you know. There's not much to do. Okay, let's look for a 20, 25, 24 key. What's something chill that we can do? Lacro well, is always chill. Maybe too chill. <laughs> Let's do Throne. Might might go horribly bad, but maybe it goes well. Bursting is very annoying in this place. Taldazar 27. Uh, it's also cute for this Black Rook Hole 25. Galacrons 25. Not feeling Galacrons. Okay, let's go to Black Room Hold. Good old classic.
they did like black and Cold so many times back in legion i wonder what they're gonna do for legion classic because you know they're gonna do legion classic it's just one of the, the expansion that saved wow i think or maybe they're gonna do something like the pandaria event for when that happens you know like legion classic uh, you have to level from one to whatever level we we are when we get there <laughs> You get more transmogs. Maybe they open up the possibility of giving the people that didn't that didn't play Legion like other colors of the artifact weapon. That would be nice. Yeah, there's a lot of nice possibilities of Legion Classic giving a lot of content. The very roots of the world tree are corrupted by the nightmare. I truly think like Legion saved WoW back then, like with when WoW and all those things happened. Because WoW like didn't have any content in it. Like it was just you raided, and you PvP'd, and you that that was it. I remember there wasn't like add content patches and all the things, but Legion Legion saved it because they added. Mythic Plus, they added the... Uh, well, they added the PvP system that a lot of people now are asking for, but people hated it back then. It was the templates. I like templates in Legion. It's, it was fun to play. You had a set stats for your class, and you just went in and did PvP, and that was it. Oh, yeah, that hard ticket. I'm done. <laughs> it's Black Group Gold. I am confused. I was thinking Dark Heart Ticket because my key is a Dark Heart Ticket. <laughs> Thanks, Garrett. <laughs> I was gonna wait them in Dark Heart Ticket like an idiot. Okay, no one saw anything. I, I was always here. <laughs> What's this thing? It looks like a sleeping bag from Classic. Uh, it's actually a sleeping bag from Classic. <laughs> I've never seen this toy. Improvised leaf bed. Must be something from Night Fae. Shadowlands. I'll run a... Uh, so I'll buy Call to Chaos. That's one guaranteed trinket I'll buy. The second trinket, like the stat stick, I'm still thinking on what... I'm going to get there because they did nerf Whispering Icon by half. So now it's like only a bit a bit stronger than the the ball, you know, the blue ball from Aberus. I don't remember the, the name of that trinket. And just a bit better than Pips as well. So that second trinket slot is like up on the air. But it's going to be a stat stick. I need a stat stick on that place. If I'm gonna use Call to Chaos, because uh, Call to Chaos gives you strength, so strength amplifies other secondary stats. If I don't use Call to Chaos, I probably would use Augury, and maybe like the just do damage trinket from Sarkaret, uh, that the um, the one that you have to channel, or a Grief Torch. What's the name of the? An trinket? excellent choice. The beacon from the Beyond, yeah. So you gotta pick. You, if you go with stats, you gotta go all in on stats. If you pick like damage stuff, you gotta go all, all in on damage stuff. That's that's my that's what I think. Oh yeah, it, it, the call to case was just giving too much strength. It, it got nerfed by a bit. Still really powerful though. It was giving you around forty percent extra damage whenever it procked uh, of value and strength. Now it's giving you like 38% of extra damage and value of strength. Not a big nerf. It's still really good. Blizzard knows it because that's why they nerfed it. <laughs> Whispering Icon was a total different thing. It was bugged. It was giving you twice the secondary stats that it should. So yeah, that was totally bugged. It was a justified nerf. It's still giving you extra stats though. Uh, better stats than Chromatic Essence and a bit better stats than Pips. Thanks for the sub, man. Really appreciate it.
what are we waiting for so we have uh another ret we have a priest and i think oh yeah we're we're waiting for lust i guess or a healer any healer i guess it's black recall we can do this without lust even on tyrannical There's so many trinkets to pick from, man, next season. And, and the good thing is we can probably get everything we want because of the currency. I like these, like, end seasons where you're overpowered and all those things. It's fun. I'm going full-on stats, though. Neltarian Skull to Chaos and probably one of the stat six from the raids. Not sure on which, though. I might even go with this. Uh, there's a good trinket from the first raid. That's half stats and half um, damage from Terros. This rumbling ruby is pretty good. It scales really well with item level. And 25 attack power, it means 25 strength, basically. So you're getting around 400 extra strength. With this trinket when it gets to max stacks out on the PTR. So it's pretty good. And you get the bonus of extra damage from the front. We still have to wait for simulations though. There might be some like weird trinket that I haven't seen. Like for example this thing. They, they nerfed Storm Eater's boom. Because it's, it was incredibly powerful. The problem is it is a trinket. This trinket is very clunky for us. It's It makes you stand still for like... I think it's, yeah, 10 seconds. And on top of that, we have to use our weapon for 2 seconds. So it's very clunky for us to use. You basically are just planting yourself for 12 seconds. <laughs> Hard to get value like that and not die. Thanks, Gareth. Lego buff. Uh, there isn't really a Lego buff. Uh, you mean buff of the drop chance or the um, the actual damage buffs on the Lego? Because they there I don't think there is. The buff on the chance to get it is if you kill Sar um, not Sarkaret, um Pirak 15 times, you are guaranteed to get your legendary. 15 times I'm heroic, that is. Oh, that, that's my... Oh, yeah, my my little thingy. That's the holy rune. It's just the rune, you know. 310 haste. Ah, I'm alliance. <laughs> I've been horde, though. I've been horde for a, for a time. I, I think I was horde the whole Shadowlands expansion. I have bots being a blood elf. <laughs> But uh, when I was in, in the Horde, someone took my name. So someone was Lightblade and Malganis. So I had to become Light Sword, the off brand version. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like Tarans because they're too big, they're too bulky. I like humans because they're like the, the balance, the good balance between bulky and just like, you know. A medium size because then you have dwarves. Dwarves are just too small. Like they're like a square. <laughs> and then you have blood elves that they're too thin. Maybe Sandalari is also good. They they have the same body as humans, almost. A bit taller. Uh, the wish version of light blade, light sword. <laughs> oh man, I remember Malganis. It's a good server. I did miss Stormrage though when I was there. It was a smaller, you know, Malganus is a lot smaller than Stormrage. So action house things are just a lot better. Well, now it doesn't matter, but back then it did. It wasn't like the whole global action house. <laughs> oh yeah, the War Stump is pretty good. It's like just an extra CC on Mythic Plus keys. It's pretty good. Humans have the stats. You know, they, we, we get extra, like, a mini corruption. Humans are, like, I think the best scalers of all the... All the, all the races. But, to be honest, the race bonus it doesn't really matter too much. It's so small that it... Uh, I, I think you can play anything you want. 
Dwarf it does have more utility though. Uh, you can remove bursting with dwarf. You can remove bleed with dwarf. But then you're a dwarf, and I, I don't I don't like dwarves. <laughs> I I don't have anything against them, but they just look weird. <laughs> oh yeah, Torin half brawn. Yeah, yeah, three percent critical extra damage. That's also like a mini corruption. I remember you had there was a corruption that gave you critical damage. I think. I still think 2% to every single stat is a bit better, though. I think it's the value of, like, like two sockets, three sockets, or something like that. And it works all the time. So you don't, don't have to um, get crits or anything. You just get extra stats. Yeah, Dwar Dwarf has that utility on their unused thingy. Okay, let's help summon. But like I said, both like all all racials are pretty close together in value. So I would say just play whatever you like the most. Except if you're doing like super cutting edge content where you have to remove a specific bleed, and then obviously just go dwarf. <laughs> if not, just play anything you want. Yeah, yeah, the Dark Iron is the, the, the good one, because it gives you extra stats when you use the thing as well. The other one just gives you extra armor, I think. I wonder when they're gonna add, like, um, elves, uh, night elf paladins. People are asking that so much, but I'm thinking a lot of the high-level people are, that do Mythic Plus are gonna swap to elf, uh, Night Elf Paladin because of uh, Shadow Melt. Like, you're gonna go back to seeing a bunch of full Shadow Melt teams or <laughs> something like that. Oh, who left? Now oh, we lost DPS. Rip. Gotta find another one. Man, I feel for you, Keith. It happened for me too. Like I, I got it on my alt before I got it on my main. Now I have like an alt with a legendary that I don't even play. <laughs> I think I got mine on my 14th week. Yeah, I didn't get it when the the guaranteed one. What oh, was the 13th? I remember, but it was very late. At least we have the chance to play with it now, you know, from the start of season season four. So I'm happy about that. It's probably gonna be the first thing you're gonna upgrade when you get the bullions. Upgrade your weapon because it's the biggest DPS gain you're gonna be able to get at the start. Uh no, I don't. I don't really. I just level paladins and gear them up. <laughs> That's what I do. There was that odd time and Legion where I played uh, an Affliction Lock, and that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I, I think I played it for two weeks and then I gave up on it. Obviously, I have other other specs, you know. I have a Demon Hunter that's there for... because uh, everyone needs to have one, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, I have a Death Knight. I, I would play a Death Knight. That's the only other uh, class that I would play. Because Death Knights remind me of Paladins, you know. In lore, a lot of Death Knights are just dead Paladins. <laughs> and we have similar abilities, you know. We have that shield, big plate dude, kind of slow, that does a lot of damage. Fantasy. I would play Death Knights. I have one that's still stuck in Shadowlands at the moment. I, I leveled him back then to teach my nephew how to play a Death Knight. So I, I gave him the basics, because you know, you, you can't teach someone how to play something if you don't understand it. So I had to make one for myself, teach him the basics, and then okay, I, I just left it there, you know. Then he, he got tired of the Death Knight and just picked a Paladin. <laughs> so it was all for nothing. But I would play a Death Knight. I think that's the only thing I, else I would play. It was uh, Frost. Frost. Frost.
Shadow Priest and Resto. Ooh, interesting. They also have really cool names of their... Well, one of them... One of the Kira talents of the Death Knights, you know, the, the Rider of the Apocalypse. That thing sounds really good. <laughs> Ours is... Templar sounds good for us, you know. The classic Templar fantasy of Paladin. But I like the other one, the, the Sun one. I, I don't remember the name, but the, the abilities are really, really... Like, they... You, when you read them, you know they have a really good synergy between them and they're just gonna pump a ton of damage they give a similar quadratic scaling as uh, the dead knights have like unholy dead knights not to that level but similar yeah augmentation just literally killed devastation evoker sadly People still play more AUG than Dev. Hopefully that changes next uh, next season. Oh, I killed the Wisp, so rip whoever had to put the key. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Okay, my, 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 my Retribution Aura is on, I remember that. I'm going to use my weapon at the start. <laughs> I always forget to do some stuff. He's not gonna... Okay, he's gonna do that. Weapon. Oh, those guys are fully CC immune. Those guys were like fully CC immune. I'll kill that guy. <laughs> we're fine. No, oh, he died. What the hell? Actually got hit by that and survived. <laughs> oh, he got hit by the frontal Sag. <laughs> Oh, the Mage Tower weapons, yeah, man. I don't think they're ever gonna bring the original Mage Tower weapons, but maybe in, like, Legion Classic, they can bring, like, recolors of them, like they're doing for Pandaria. You know they're gonna do Legion Classic.
pull us back in five seconds. Let's get some holy power for that. Two, one. One soul got in, two, two got in. This might hurt. Ah, we're fine. Pull down's back in seven seconds. It's on me, I'll bubble. Guess I don't like to move. He almost killed me there. <laughs> he left that swerdy thing on me. Nice. Now, now I see. Okay, let's pat on the spiders now. <laughs> We still have He's Bob, gone. so we're gonna bop ourselves and just nuke the spiders. You aren't the ones who did this. <clears throat> I'm gonna miss, miss Black or Cold. I think of all the dungeons this season, this one is the one that I'm gonna miss the most. You must find I guess I have Stockholm Syndrome, you know? You did this place so many times this. in Legion. I just... I just like it. <laughs> He's going. Golo. You might die here. Yeah, we're dead. Actually, we're alive. That was for the pad. <laughs> Where's the castle? Where's the castle? There's the Arcanist. I want to use my weapon, but I want to kill the little ghosty thing first. Or I'm gonna die to the area of effect. The AoE. Blind, blind, blind. Okay, we're fine. Good stuff. Finish up these mobs. We have two for next pack. Need one judgment here. Oh, we missed two mobs, damn it. Oh, we missed the cat and the other scout. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is good. We'll have cooldowns for next pack. Stun this guy. Take the bashes. Focus the Arcanist. The bash is everything. Ah, 
Nice. Now we have our weapon for the next pack. <clears throat> God damn it. I have a cod, I think. Use the weapon or die. I have cooldowns. Do I use them? Uh, yeah, why not? So we're gonna use them here to finish up this mob. We won't have them for next pack. Oh, never mind. He's gonna go full boss, so I should have saved. Mm. I don't think this is very good. <laughs> Those mobs are just doing whatever they want down there. Are we gonna pull them with the boss? Oh yeah, we're gonna pull them with the boss. Four seconds I have. Four seconds and cooldowns. That's a horrible combo. <laughs> die again. Mm, that's bad. Stun that guy. Go for the frontal. You gotta have another rest, but... Like the bash the mobs. Hit by the frontal. He's too close. My like range has to be a bit farther away. That glaive's gonna. Oh, that, that was horrible. I'll have to bop this guy. Yeah, that was a horrible grave. Like, he has to be farther away. Okay, that's fine. That bounced to like two people, I think. Like Ranger playing like their melee, that's not good. Like that's gonna ricochet. Yeah, like I told you. <laughs> Here, finish this off. 
That was all on the range, by the way, because they're playing like melee and they're making that boomerang ricochet. That's no bueno. <laughs> That thing hurts on Tyrannical. Crap. That's the first time I've died this whole season. That's the first time. No. I suck. Actually, we both Paladins died. We both suck. <laughs> now, actually, that was a tactical death, you know, because my cooldowns weren't up, so I had to die in order to have them here. <laughs> Okay, now, now we, we wait for aggro or we die. <clears throat> I think that was bursting what killed him, right? the tank. We're fine. Okay, now we gotta go back. Actually, no, the healer survived. He could just heal uh, mass res. That one. I have a kick. Three seconds, two seconds, one. I have a kick. Never mind, it's dead. 
Nice. Take it. Cooldowns down. Right, someone's gonna take that. Weapons up in 30, 36 seconds. No, 30 seconds. Move away. <laughs> nah, I can't take it. I can take it with Bob, but nah, he's gonna take it. Nice. Here, me there. <laughs> Take it now. Take it again. Uh, thanks, there. Nice. Ooh, that guy got hit hard. <laughs> the Evoker's almost dead. I'll use cooldowns here to finish up. I might, have, might not have cooldowns to pad the next pad. Next pack, but. Actually, I'll. Nice! Oh, he's gonna do all. Okay. I have my bop so I can survive getting stunned. <laughs> so I'm fine. I wanna I wanna leave my dot on them. They come for you. They do. Together we shall defeat them. He said all. Because this is not all. Okay. I was promised all, and this was not all. I hate when that happens, you know? When your divine toll only only tolls like one hammer. I think it happens because people CC a mob and the divine toll is coded so it doesn't hit like CC'd stuff. So sometimes it just throws one of them. 
He's very annoying. The other guy's dying. He's gotta lay on hands, man. I'm getting bolted. So I think they're gonna throw lust after the first phase. Hopefully everyone survives the survives the shallow bolt. No. This is not my ancestor. You must defeat him. I think I died. Use cooldowns after this. We are legion. Where is it going? Oh, oh that's horrible. <laughs> Almost got comboed with this low. <laughs> for him. For me, a bubble. This also absorbs the Shadow Bolt. My wings. Oh, that guy died. Nice. Spread the guy. <laughs> I can actually swap my key here, so let's let's swap it just because I don't want to do a dark heart. What do we get? At all? Okay, that's a chill key. Ah, 420 DP. Oh no, never mind. 429. Rip. No damage. Hmm. Fear they did a lot of damage. <laughs> I guess that's because of the last boss, you know. If you time your fear that right with the little swarm thing alive, you get extra damage on that last part. It's always good to funnel if you can with the weapon.
Yeah, because normally Fearlet is the same amount of damage as Crusading Strikes. Almost the same. Just gets extra value in that dungeon because of the last boss. Eh, damage looks fine. Got a Blade of Justice more, though. 9%? It's normally 10. I'm slacking. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's I think that's gonna be the end of the stream, you know. I'll I'll probably be back tomorrow. I want to do a stream schedule now. I'm gonna start, I think, 4 p.m. But I think that's gonna be from Monday and forwards. I still don't know the exact time, but I'll make a community post about it. I want to start streams a bit earlier because uh, it's better, you know, to start them earlier so I'm not so like late in the night so I can fix my sleep schedule as well. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks everyone for watching, and well, have a great night.